Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling. And this is the USS Nimitz CVN 68 uh, 1700 scale build. And we're on to part 7 of uh, the series where I'm working on the aircraft for the ship. There's quite a lot. I think I counted about 22 aircraft including two helicopters four helicopters actually so i've recently just finished the f-18s these it's six of them um now i've never built a 1700 scale model before and my last one building aircraft was for the uh, aircraft carriage was a 1350 scale so these are a lot lot smaller as you can see um, quite a struggle to put together um, also considering that the um, most of the parts don't fit so the front front wheel for example of so far of the six aircraft I've built none of them would fit into the slot into the front so I've just had to do the best I can and and put him in there. The, I think it probably looks okay because the the front wheel's at an angle like it should be. Whereas if I'd have managed to put it in like it should be in there, it would just sit straight down. Um. So yeah, and they're just too small to trim. There's no way I could trim them to get them to fit. Otherwise, they, it's not going to work. So I've done the F-18s there, they're done. Uh, I've now started on the helicopters just for a break, for a change. I've got one uh, SH-60 helicopter there. So it's very difficult with clear parts, um, putting them together. There was the option of painting them while they were on the sprues, but that comes with its own problems. Um, there'd be touch-ups required where you cut them off from. Um, another problem would be the glue would mess up the the paint. Um, I mean, which wouldn't matter too much if I just undercoated them, at least. I could possibly have just undercoated them. Um, but it's okay. I've got a pretty good set of magnifying glasses, so I'll, I'll get by. <laughs> um and yeah so that's it i'm working on all the aircraft all the um deck vehicles including the crane and everything else are all done painted ready to go on the ship they're just sitting there safely to the side i painted up the little cranes here so this little fella so see that Paint it up, and uh, so they're all done. And um, obviously, that'll be all that going on after the decals will go on. Um, the original clear coat I did on the deck, that's still good, so I don't need to spray that another clear coat. Uh, then there'll be a lot of uh, painting. Of these aircraft which I'm probably looking at doing them all the same color that I did the ship um, weathering of course will will make them stand out a little bit more but um, they'll basically be that um, gray color and of course there's a lot of decals for these aircraft all right so um, I'll continue. Most of this video will be uh, the process of building these aircraft. And um, I'm pretty sure that at some point I'm going to go, oh, I've had enough of this, I need a break. <laughs> so I might um, do the decals on the um, island, for example. Or I might put some decals down on the deck. 
um, and we'll have a look at that. Um, yeah. All right, I'll be back shortly. Hello, welcome back. Um, so I got a bit tired of doing the um, aircraft. <laughs> I got a few done. I got about eight of them done in a couple of the helicopters. But um, So I decided to move on to some of the decals. And uh, I've got quite a bit done. I've done all around the land, uh, the elevator platforms. Um, a couple of the stripes on the sides here I've done around the blast um, here all, all those spots all done a couple of spots in the center here and um, yeah they've gone on really nice no problems at all I'm just using my um, uh, Tamiya mark fit I'm yeah doing a perfect job and um, uh, a little bit of water and no problems at all. I actually have a video if you want to go back and have a look at it on uh, applying decals. Might pick up a few hints. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue on while this is going well. Um, see if I can get some more of the longer stripes on for the landings deck. And um, we'll come back and have a look at it in a sec. Cheers. Back soon. Hey, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd just give you a, a bit of a tip for... Um, placing decals, um, particularly if they're really long ones, like these are, sometimes it's it's better and easier to handle if you cut them in half or into smaller lengths. just gives you a little bit less to handle and as you're trying to place them down. Especially these ones here that are broken up where you can easily connect them up and that you wouldn't know that you cut them. Um, Another thing I do is you just soak these for just a few seconds. The best way I find is to pretty much just drop them in the water until the, to get it wet and then take it out and then put it aside like I do on a paper towel. I just let it sit there. And, and then what I do is I use my Mark Fit Strong. Tamiya, I put that over the area I'm going to place the decal and then I would come along and check the decal and make just until it starts to move on the paper and during the whole length of it when I know that it's not still connected anywhere then we just pick it up and then uh, using a toothpick that has the end uh, not so sharp um, I don't handle tweezers um, using tweezers with decals because they they'll tear them and easily. So you would just put the toothpick on there and slowly drag it off the backing paper along the area you want. And because you've got the decal fluid down on the on the deck there, it'll still move around and you can position it where you want it to be. Uh, if you need to put some more over the top of it, what I usually do. Um, Oh, another thing too is drain any excess water off. So just touch the sides of the decal on the paper towel and get all that excess water off. So you just slide mostly just the decal down. And then, uh, yeah, and they go on, hopefully, easily like that. Now, I've only got this side here. I've got to finish it down to there. And then I've got uh, one more line of it here. And that will complete the deck um the oh and there's a piece there's a white spot at the probably can't see to turn it around but uh yeah so just along there there's a a white bit across the bottom of decal um and that's it so yeah um after that i'll be going back to the aircraft and uh, putting more of them together. I think I'm nearly halfway through. Well, actually, I'm not. Probably about a quarter of the way through doing them. But um, it was nice having a break and, and doing this. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that's coming up now. It's looking really nice. It's gone on really nicely. Okay, so I'll be back shortly. We'll have a look at the next update. Cheers. Hello, welcome back. Um, I'd show you the decals on the flight deck are all complete now. 
it will come up quite nice. Uh, couldn't be much happier than that. Um, they all went on really nice. Um, there was some extra bare little bits, so I added a bit that will go around where the island is. So I thought I'd put a little line around there. Um, I've also done the island itself. So we've got the 68 on there and the other bits and beast bits on there. I'd pick it up, but it's a bit delicate. I'd rather not. But, uh, yeah. It's all done. They're all completely finished and all set to go on when the time's right. Um, the only decals I'm left with now is uh, just the American flags here, which will go where they belong. Um, so until then, I'm going to go back to doing the aircraft and get, get those all completed. Um, I think I need to... I don't remember if I did a clear coat on the hull at all. I know the flight deck was done, but I don't remember if I did a clear coat. And I need to weather that later. So it will need to be done. I just I just don't remember doing it. Um, I may have to go back over my own videos and have a look. But, but either way, it wouldn't hurt to do it again. So I will probably um, just give the side another uh, clear coat. Um, just in preparation for the weathering. And... Um, and of course, we've got a lot of paint, aircraft to paint as well. So, yeah, we'll get on to that. So, um, all right. So when I when we come back, I'll probably have all the aircraft put together at least, and um, figuring out how I'm going to um, mount them all for spraying. Um, they're so small, I haven't worked out how I'm going to do that yet. Um, yeah, it may take a, a couple of passes. If I were to put them on blue tack on these little sticks like this, sit them all on there and do one side, then come back, turn them over, do the other side, that may be the, the way to do it. Um, yeah, uh, well, with the undercoat, it's not so matter too much, just the final top coat that'll be the, the important bit. And I still don't know whether I'll do them black either. I may prime them in black. And because I'm going to do paint all those aircraft the same color I've done the, the ship in that XF-19 gray. But if I do a black undercoat, then they're going to have a little bit darker gray. And at least some of the panel lines may show underneath. Or maybe not, because they're very small. But we'll see. If I really thin out my XF gray coat and, and apply that really lightly in layers over it and build it up it'll get to a point where that'll do you'll be able to just see that it's slightly darker and they'll just stand out and pop that little bit more anyway that's the plan come back and have a look back shortly hello and welcome back so i'm pushing through with these um aircraft and um I, like I said before, I've never done a uh, 1700 scale um, aircraft carrier aircraft before. So I've done aircraft carriers at a three, 1350 scale and those planes for them, but never anything this small. And and as you know, it's it's tiny. Now, what I'm finding with these... Um, these trumpeter ones that come with the kit is that of all the planes I've built which were I think there's 25 and I only have about six to go uh, seven yeah seven to go I think no and we've got six nine more to go none of them fit together properly not one so the front landing gear that sits in the front slot under there, they don't fit, okay? And the, the, the two landing gears for the rear that sit in the slot, they fit in the slot, but they don't fit level. And what I found is that if you don't have them fitting in level, the back ones, your plane's gonna sit in an angle, 
they have to be level. None of them, of all these aircraft I've put together, none of them just it just sits in there. It's always at an angle. And I've tried to trim them, but at this scale, it's really hard. And I have done it, but it's literally made every aircraft take four times longer than it should. The front wheels, the front single wheels, none of them sit in the front slot under the aircraft. You, you, it just doesn't, it won't fit. Not because it's too long, because they're too wide. So what I've had to do is trim them down the side so they'd fit in there. But then you'd have to make sure they're very they're straight and square because you've trimmed one side. Again, none of them fit. Um, and it, it just adding to the time um, to put these together. I would say it takes me about 20 minutes to half an hour to do each aircraft when it shouldn't take that long. It should take me 10 minutes. Um, the other difficult thing is being clear. It's very hard to see um, positions for, particularly on these F-18s, where the rear tail wings sit on the back at an angle. I can just make out the slots, but to trim them off the sprue, accurately for them to fit on there uh, again is is really really difficult very tiny um, anything else the only thing I didn't have problems with was the uh, the two little bombs that sit on it under each wing um, they're the only part that actually go to bit go together uh, without a problem so yeah, it's quite a struggle, um, but I will have these done in the next few hours, <laughs> even though there's only, you know, half a dozen left to build, and um, and then I just want to get them painted. But uh, yeah, it, it's been it's quite difficult. Not happy with them at all. <laughs> I, I don't see how they could all be like that. I mean, do you have have you had that problem with this smaller scale? Um, I don't think I had that problem with the the ones off the 350 ships. Maybe just these are smaller. Um, yeah, I mean, really, it would be discouraging for people to even bother putting all these together. I mean, you know, I mean, like I had to take a break from it. I had to take a break, and I started doing all the decals on the ship, as you saw earlier, um, which I completed. Um, just to get away from the struggle that these things are. Anyway, like 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 it is with modelling, you you've got to confront these issues and uh, and get around them. Um, yeah, yeah. But we'll talk more on that later of uh, some of the problems I've had with the trumpeter kit and trumpeter kits in the past as well. You know, I mean, I I don't have much experience. Like I say, I've only been building for less than. A, less than a year um, but for someone who's new to the hobby um, I'm finding that Trumpeter are not offering a product that um, helps new people in the hobby um, stay focused and enjoy the building of the kit um, in some of the way their kits seem to be um, Mass produced and less less de less detail paid attention to. Anyway, we'll come back and uh, we'll have a look at these when they're all done and ready to paint. Okay, back shortly. Hello, welcome back. And um, right, so I finally finished all the aircraft. That was a bit of a struggle. Um, and I've undercoated them. I decided to do them in a black Steinle res, um, mainly because I want to have a bit of detail uh, in the panel lines come through, and uh, and I also want the final coat of XF19, which is the same colour as the ship, but I want it to be just a little bit slightly darker tone with the black underneath on these as an end result 
But um, that's gone on nice. It's a really beautiful black and covered nicely on there. So, I mean, I could paint these now, but I'll leave them till tomorrow, let them dry properly. And, uh, and I'll put the coats on there. Um, I'll see how it looks with one coat and maybe um, maybe a second coat. Depends. I'm going to thin it quite, quite a bit and just layer it on um, quite lightly. Just build it up. Um, while I was also with the airbrush, I did um, do a clear coat around the side of the ship because I wasn't sure and I couldn't remember if I'd done that before or not. And I need that clear coat on there. Uh, for the weathering so that's all done now I also gave a clear coat um, just a flat clear coat across the um, let me show it to you oh, where are we? here we go so yeah I also did a clear coat across the deck as well and over the deck also let them uh, so yeah that's come up really really nice and uh that's all ready for a bit of uh, work underneath for the uh, weathering and so forth. Um, I'm looking forward to that part. Uh, even for this size, uh, I think it's going to come up really, really nice, especially that deck. Get some um, marks happening and dirty up those uh, nice clean lines. Uh, we can't have that looking like it was just been freshly painted. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. So I'll come back in a second with uh, all these painted, and um, and we'll see how they look. Of course, there's a lot of decals to go on these aircraft as well, which uh, I don't mind doing the decals. Although these will be the smallest I've ever done. If I just quickly grab you the sheet and have a look. I've shown this in a previous video, but we'll have another quick look. So, yeah, look at the size of those. <laughs> but they're very nice. There you go. I'll turn it up so you can right way around. They're, um, yeah, they're really good. So I'll, I'll have to clear coat these aircraft as well. Um, now I only have a, a flat clear that I could airbrush over them. Um, the only um, normal gloss clear I have is in a rattle can and that's really no good for these. They're too small to be spraying with a, with a can. Um, so I'm thinking that the, the, the airbrush with the... Um, the clear will be fine. They're only small and the decals will stick on quite well, I'm pretty sure. Okay, back in a second. Hello, welcome back. So, as you can see, I've um, finished painting all the aircraft. Um, they've got their final coat of uh, XF-19 grey on top of the um, the black Steinal res I did. So, the end result is that the aircraft have come out looking just a slightly little bit darker than what the colour of the actual ship is. So they'll just stand out a little bit more. Um, all I need to do now is give this a, another hour or two and I'll give them a clear coat. And then probably tomorrow, when that clear coat's properly dried, um, to go through and do all the decals. Um, what I will also be doing is um, starting to do some weathering of the carrier itself. Um, but all this will be in the next video, which will be part eight. I'll wind it up here for part seven, and um, we'll, we'll 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 get on to all that in the next video. And thanks for watching, and please um, comment below if you've got any comments. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notifications button so we can get so you can get some 
notification when the uh, next videos come out and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh yeah that's it i'll see you in part eight till then cheers bye for now